I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the... Hi, friends. How are you today? Today, we're going to be talking about the word rejoice. The dictionary definition of rejoice is to feel great joy or delight. Think about it for a second. Delight. I imagine that to feel delight means it lights you up from the inside, like your heart is just bursting with golden rays of warmth. Ah, to feel great joy. Joy is different from happiness. Happiness is when something happens by happenstance. When something outside of you makes you feel good, like someone giving you a present, or having fun with your friends, or your team winning. That makes you happy, right? The thing is, happiness can disappear in the blink of an eye if something goes wrong. Now, joy is different, completely different. Joy comes from inside you, and it doesn't depend on the things that are going on around you. Joy lights you up from your heart with those golden rays of warmth just filling you up inside. Now, that doesn't mean that we'll never be sad or get sick or have pain. It doesn't mean that bad things won't happen, but even in all those things, we can still rejoice. When you have joy, life is good no matter what, because joy comes from knowing that Jesus is your savior. Joy comes from believing that God is good that he made you, that he knows you, that he loves you, and he has a plan for you. You are precious to him. He cares about you all the time, no matter what, no matter how badly we might mess things up, no matter what crazy, difficult things we're going through, God loves us and that will never, ever change. He will never leave us or forsake us. He is our rock, our fortress, our shelter, our hiding place. People might let us down, but God never will. The Apostle Paul wrote that we should rejoice always, not sometimes, not every now and again when we feel like it, always. I mean, Paul had spent years in prison just for telling people about Jesus. That probably wasn't a very happy time in his life. But Paul could rejoice because he had Jesus in his heart. He wasn't focused on the stuff around him. The dark, dirty jail cells or the gross food he had to eat or the rejection of a lot of people he was just trying to help. Or even the loneliness he must have felt sometimes. He was focused on rejoicing because that's what he chose to look at. Not what was bad in his life, but what was good. And when we stop focusing on all the things that have gone wrong or things that are sad or things that are painful or troubling, that's when we can rejoice too. When we choose to rejoice in the Lord always, that's when our attitude can start to change. We develop an attitude of gratitude. We start to focus on thanking God that he loves us and he gave us our families and our friends and our talents and every good thing in our lives. That's when we are grateful that Jesus saved us from our sins and because we believe in him and he lives in our hearts, we're going to heaven someday. Woo, yes, now that's what I'm talking about. You might find things that will make you happy for a little while, but remember, happiness can disappear oh so quickly. But joy, joy is not found in the things around you. Joy is found in the things inside you, the things you hold in your heart. And when your heart is filled with joy, the joy that's found in Jesus, nothing, nothing could ever take that away from you. Why, it might just make you want to rejoice out loud. Come on, sing with me. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy. Down in my heart.